what it is is he's grabbing my left shoulder with his right hand. We're just standing squared off. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reach over with my forearm over his wrist. And I'm going to grab with a reverse grip. He's still holding my gi, that's okay. He's holding the clothing tight. Suppose he starts to pull it in a little bit, see? What I do is I grab with a reverse grip, place my thumb in between his thumb and index finger, and grab the beating part of his hand, and I place my wrist over his wrist. My elbow down. Okay, so I'm coming over like this. All I'm gonna do is turn it. He can hold on tight, that's fine. Because when I bring it over, I bring it over to blade edge up. And I also leave it right on my chest, right in the center of my chest. And so him holding on is excellent. The reason for that is I don't have to worry about it getting pulled away. Because what I want to do is just grab over the forearm, and I want to just bow in humility to the same. Okay? And he gave me a bow back. Okay, let's try this again. So he's grabbing. I'm just reaching over like this, very soft, very subtle, I just grab it, turn it over, place it on the center of my chest, grab, and now what I'm going to do is take his hand this way, straight up like this, okay, and I'm holding his wrist, and I've got my chest up against his knuckles. Even if he lets go, see, I'm still going to use my chest. Because if I use my chest to push against the hand, I don't have to use my hand so much for the pressure. So yeah, I can just use my chest. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm holding the wrist here. And the wrist I'm holding, kind of cocking it up like this. As I'm pushing this one down and leaning down. Okay. Alright, so we start over. I'm going to turn. The next thing I'm going to do is I place that hand over there. I'm going to go into an Elma right here. Fix hands. And once I'm here, he's grabbing. I'm going to turn. Put my hands. Now I take him down, leaving the elbow somewhat locked. We will be able to do this off of a punch. We'll start looking at this a little bit later. So he's grabbing me, shifting. Here, he drops down. Notice I'm not bending down a lot. It's just enough on my chest to apply pressure. See? It's more dropping my stance. A little bit forward, because now what I'm going to do is kick all the foot right to the chest. What that'll do is knock him back so that I can pull his hands from here. Questions? <coughs> so he's here. Grab. And down. Kick. Now he's here. Let's so get that from this side. He's here. Here. Ball the foot right to the chest or even to the sternum, lower sternum, xiphoid process. <coughs> Better if you go higher because if you go higher on the kick, it's going to make his shoulders go back more. If you go lower, it's going to pull his shoulders forward. Higher. So better right at the center of the sternum part. Grabbing, over, here. Look at this from this side. Watch the timing of my hands. From here, I reach over. Okay, look how I'm preparing. So I'm here. One last time. She does this. 
this one here. Watch the rocking of my body too. Here. here. Now, if I can maintain straightness on the elbow, watch the difference. Because he may, see he may be bent here. And if it's bent here, I'm not going to get the straightness. See, it may turn into something else. Okay. Uh, look how close that becomes. Okay, we'll look at that later too. But the idea is if he's still out here, somewhat straight. Some people will grab you like this, right, and then they're going to hit you. At that point, look where my arm is. If I'm coming in like this, that's different. See how my arm was bent? And I actually drew him in to do something. Maybe you're going to grab him, whatever, with the other hand. But if he's still extended, then when I come over, see what's happening here? Then watch, watch how far away he becomes. See where he is? Now the kick is appropriate. So this is the context of what we're looking at as a straight arm. He's grabbing. Here, here, up against my chest, look where his hand is. See what's grabbing here, it's got kind of from this angle. Here, right from here. Then when I kick, he goes back. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put our hand over the top, one down. Pull those tendons back. Okay, all the way through. He's here, here, here. Okay. Any questions? Okay, come on up and play. Remember, this is off of the grab on my left shoulder. Now, what I showed was just reaching over and grabbing. What you're really wanting to do here is as he reaches over to grab, notice how I'm dropping my weight a little bit. This enables me to be able to come down and get it. Now what I do is I shift my weight back and come down the other direction. So what I'm doing is a shift change of my weight. I'm shifting this way. And then when I shift it back, and then I shift it down. So he grabs, I shift, I shift, and I kick. Right. Now from here, I just come over. I can do it two different ways. That's how my hands are here. Right here, my elbow in of my forefinger and my thumb is grabbing his fingers and I'm holding just the same way I was before across the back of the hand. Both of my elbows are in. Okay. Or if I have them like so, I can also grab like this. Just over the top. Either way. Okay. Here I'm not even really using my thumb at all. I'm just using the fingers. My thumb is resting in the palm of his hand. Okay, so he grabs, I shift, I shift back, I do my leverage, I kick to the chest, he goes back a little bit. Now, I can grab here, look where my elbow is. This is probably the best way, most efficient way. I squeeze the fingers, that's where his fingers are. Squeeze them, and then bend them back. From here, I'm gonna set back a half stance. So it's like our deem maw within our stances. So I'm going from an L maw to a deem maw to another deem maw or further, and then I'm going to step back even further back into a big dime maw, which is our kneeling stance. Okay? So let's start back here. He grabs, I shift, I come back, laid edge up here. And I bow, on my chest, I kick, 
I grab is by kicking. Look how it sets him back. Boom. Now when I set here, look where my elbows are. I keep them close to me. I point the fingers down to the floor and I pull with this hand. My right hand, I'm pulling down as here I'm pushing back. So I'm coming down and back at the same time. I step back. Now what I do is I take this forearm and I drag it on the floor. So I'm going here. Those are the angles that we're working with. And it will drag him face down. So he's grabbing. Now notice, if his thumb is up, almost like he's palm up in a way, can I even get that? <clears throat> Very hard to get. That's one of the reasons why you bend down, so that you are able to get this. So as soon as he grabs, if I shift my weight, shift it back, then I can receive that hold. I kick him, he goes back, I grab. I step, I start to apply the leverage. His forearm is here, here. Okay, now from here, I have his arm bent 90 degrees, holding, and I'm pushing down on the fingers. I push, the pinky is the accelerator. So it's like this. Just grab it and just torque down. Notice his head. Got his head moved. I, I push down here and I hammer blow right to the base of the skull. Just right here. That's the end of the technique. Okay. Any questions on any part of this yet? I think, okay. <clears throat> so he's here. He grabs. I shift, I shift back, here, he goes down, I kick him away, I grab it, I set, I set as I take it down, I set back, notice where his arm is, right up against my leg, okay, his forearm's going right up my knee, that's the best position I can be in, because I have stability, okay. now I can just go straight down here, here. Now, if I held the other way, we'll look at that in a second. Look at the power I have here. See? So this is pretty good. This is very good from here. This is like I'm just, I'm just doing a palm. And I'm just putting my weight down. This one, see how it's a little bit different? You'll feel it, you can feel the difference when you do it. You don't have as much power this way as you do this way. Okay? So from this angle here, start back here. He grabs. I pivot over. I pivot back. I drop him down. I kick him. Now I'm going to grab. I'll just grab the same way for the sake of what we're doing. I step. And I step here. Here. Okay? Now I want to show you the other hand. Here, the other hand hold, he grabs, I shift, I shift back, he's here. I kick him. This one, I peel it back like this. Notice my elbow's out a little bit, and I do this one. The other one, my elbow's here. So I'm peeling it back here. I step back, I step back. So I'm here. I go one, watch his forearm and his elbow. Oh, like that. Now, I'm in this position with how my hand is now. So when I just push, okay, it's just me. Look where my thumb is here. Okay, so I'm grabbing his fingers like so, here. But my position is more here, so that he's at the center of my triangle. Okay. okay. So from here, he's grabbing. Shift. Shift. He's down. Kick. There. I like this one better. It's got a lot more power. The other one works just fine. Okay. So I come back. I take it here. Now, if I want to just pull every tendon out of his arm right now, okay, 
do like a bunch of rubber bands, just snap, 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 snap. His arm will never work again without major surgery where they take the tendons and reattach it. Okay, from here, technique's over. Okay, questions? Okay. What's the left hand doing on the takedown? Is it just guiding or? Um, okay, we're here, he's already down. Okay. He's already down. If I come from this direction, this left, my left hand, right? What uh, I'm doing with my right hand. I'm sorry, your right hand. Oh, okay. what's the right hand? Left hand is doing this. The circle is going like this. With my left. With my right, the circle is going. I'm going like this. Now we're going to be doing a form here pretty soon where we're going like this. Okay, I'm doing some of these moves. That's precisely what we're doing here. We're using these moves in the form. Because I'm holding and I'm literally going like this. And I'm doing smaller circles because I'm holding this hand while I'm doing it. Okay. Now, all the way through, he's grabbing, I'm pivoting, here, kick, here, that way. The other side, starting back here so we have space. He's here, I'm pivoting, here, kick, here. So I drew him all the way. Notice how flat he lays because I took those few short steps, stretches him out. He can't fall and he can't keep crawling. It just pulls him apart. Okay. All right, one more time each direction. Step. Questions? Come on up and try it. <laughs>